air, water, earth, fire. Only the Avatar, master of all elements, can maintain balance between the four nations. But after the death of Avatar Kurok, our heroes find themselves in a world without one. Kiyoshi is leaning against the wall, her face flat against it, and she just seems to be like mumbling incoherently to herself. <laughs> Yun has like walked over and is nestled into Erwin's mane. Oh, bro, it's so soft. How is it so soft? It's like I'm sinking into him. Oh, I'm almost inside him. Oh. Uh, you guys are experiencing a pleasant floaty sensation accompanied by a uh, sort of manic panic at the same time. <laughs> uh, it's sort of like, it's like a, it's like a combination of, of cannabis and crack cocaine. Um, as your body goes from calm to alert to pretty chill. To absolutely terrified in the space of about five or six seconds. Whiplash, baby. Tak has got the munchies, <laughs> so he's gonna go to the tea room and just start eating all of the biscuits. Uh, uh, Faye, Erwin t turns to you and uh, you're looking deep into his eyes. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling quite okay? Faye's just gonna blink at him, like, really slow, like, one eye at a time. You are looking rather peaky. I... I'm... I'm feeling... rather peaky. He places a big paw on your, on your shoulder. Maybe you need a glass of water. He... That... That's such a good idea. You get the sudden urge to kiss him. <laughs> but why? <laughs> you can't help but feel he looks incredibly handsome. Uh... <laughs> He's just gonna hug him and collapse into his fur and try ignore that feeling. You can, you try and, I'd like you to uh, roll for that, please. Oh, God. I'd like you to uh, push your luck to resist the, uh, oh. to resist these fleeting feelings. Tak is going to offer Lao a fistful full of biscuits guys. while we're watching this. Oh, my God. You, you oh. just, you're watching Faye, like, and she is with the most handsome man right now. He <laughs> is, this man is, this man is tall, his hair is perfectly coiffed. He's like, he, he's just oozing charisma. Oh no, I guess, I guess I'll just give in to temptation. <laughs> so you move in uh, and you edge closer to his face and with a, a massive tongue sweeps up your face, knocking you backwards. <laughs> Faye's just going to fall over. She's not what? very stable right now. You got, are you trying to get off his mind? Yun says, like, burying himself deeper into the main. I think you all need to have a sit down, Erwin says. As you all collectively feel like you can understand what he's saying right now. This is fucking diabolical, Malcolm says, swoop like, swooping from side to side. Is I Malcolm mean, also high on cactus? I... I... Malcolm is also high on cactus juice. <laughs> he got his that. own shot glass. Yeah, a little, <gasps> had a little bit. Sharon's care and you got to pull one out for the mates. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, my, shell, my shell's fucking heavy. Why is it so yeah. heavy? Why? shouldn't. Man, why? Why? You have built an armor. Yeah, you, yeah, you... yeah. Yo. 
You're yeah, you don't you don't have that, do you? Shit. You don't you don't have anything. You just got no. your fucking got your you got your your clothes on and uh, you got your hair and uh, you oh, got no. nothing else to protect you. Are you gonna It's all in the gonna, middle? Are that's, you meant to that's... even or what's even meant to how how will any of that's... that even work? It's not efficient at all. What? Why? Why Kiyoshi like this? stumbles past all of you, and her feet are like stomping, like boom, 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 as she goes, and she's just gonna, boom, 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 and she's just gonna kick Sora's door open. Oh, oh god! <laughs> mm, who's that? You, 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 uh, you can fix me. You're, a, you, you know, I. I'm having a real problem right now. I, I can't. I'm seeing a lot of things right now. Um, her eyes are completely white. Uh, um, like, kind of. And there is a. Uh, I'm all sleepy and. Yoshi, is that you? I, I think it might be. But it could be someone else. I don't know. I don't know. What, what's going on? Um, she, like, walks, she, like, takes a step back, stumbles, and stomps her feet, and the floor underneath her cracks oh. as she does so. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. Do you want to <laughs> down? Okay. Ah, no, ah. And she just stumbles and collapses on your desk and, like, knocks everything off it. The books <laughs> fly. Hey, watch the... those. And she starts, like, scrambling through them. It's not. It's not right. I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Hey, shh. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. What's going on? Do you want to come take a seat on the sofa? And I'll reach my hand out to for her to take. Uh, can you give me a comfort and support role, please? Ooh. Therapist Sora. Sorry. Okay. Hey. So the calm aura you're exuding seems to bring Kiyoshi into a more relaxed state. And you can see the colour returning to her eyes as she sort of looks at you. Not quite lucid, but she takes a stumble and steps over to the sofa. And sort of collapses face first into it. She says, uh, through the through the pillows. I'll say after uh, after Sora was high herself on cactus juice, she's probably read up about it, so she knows symptoms and maybe recognizes that in Kiyoshi. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. So uh, I guess I'll try and help her through the knowledge of, of that and what she went through before. Mm -hmm. uh, however that is. <laughs> I don't yeah. think there's really a cure for it other than just coming down. Yeah, <laughs> she says. Uh, face still buried in the cushions. Hey, you lie down. Get some rest. I feel better soon. Can you tell? Can you... Can you make sure, make sure that Yen doesn't make out with anyone? Uh, I'll try my best. Be right back. Where's the kitchens again? <laughs> They're downstairs, but as as you approach, uh, Erwin has a crowd of people around him that are like all like closed in, um, and 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 all buried in his mane. Uh, as you approach, Erwin gives you a concerned look. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, from out of his mane, like Yun's face just pokes out. Oh, has Yun been making out with him too? <laughs> Yun's like, and he's like, his his like hair is like a mess. Yo, I know you. You're that airbender. 
Uh, yeah, Sora, we met uh, the other day. Um, yeah, I'm Yoon. And he, like, sweeps his hair back. So, as the avatar, obviously, I need to make sure that I, you know, I'm very selective about the people I keep with me. And I think someone like you could be perfect as, like, a secretary or something. I don't know about this. Just getting that Sorry, vibe I'm from you. I'm the secretary. Um, oh, he's do you a lucky mind? guy. I'm just a pass to get to the kitchens. Oh, you better be careful. I hear there's like a billion like angry wolf cats down there. Uh, right. There's so many yeah, of them. They uh, no, no, really. They eat. They only eat attractive people. So you better be careful. Well, I'll be all right then. Hey, uh, Tucker, can you help me out here? Sora, Love Sora, that. I've uh, and he's gonna push past. I've discovered a brand new color. And I hold up a biscuit to us in her face, and it's like oh, a greenish, no. purple, yellow. Check it out. <laughs> Not you too, Tucker. I, it's a whole new color that doesn't exist. Yes, I, I can see that. Um, right, I need to just squeeze past. And I'll squeeze past around Erwin and dodge Yun as much as I can. Uh, Faye, as Sora goes past, <laughs> you feel a sense of hostility from her for a moment. Uh, oh. Oh. So Sora, what did I do? What do you mean? Why why are you so mad at me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. don't pick on the rock. The rock's you're strong. Hey, you're hey, the strongest yeah, person I know. Mad. Way stronger I... than this secretary. Oh no, I'm not. Water, I'm going down anyway. Oh our 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 Erwin said that would be a good idea. Okay, yes, I'll, you I'll need to you drink plenty water, of water. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna drink so much water. I just want some Why don't you all go bread. lie down in the meantime, and I'll be back with some water for everyone. I need some fucking bread. Tell her to get me some fucking bread, otherwise I'm gonna be just fuck. I'm gonna have a bad time. Get her to get me some bread. Don't let her go without getting me some bread. Laban, is it you too? Uh, That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I can 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 more of these, please. The can this is good. This? No, That's the bread. Some bread. Bread. That's bread. 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 And I'm just gonna no, no, these these other... the biscuits the the biscuit the colorful biscuits. Colorful biscuits. Taka comes out. along. Says I've I've lost the colorful biscuit. He says whilst chewing a biscuit. Love I've, I've lost it. Up. I don't know where it went. At it. Don't worry, just, Chuck, I'll get you some more. She just gently, like, points at the biscuit that she's held aloft. Look. Whoa. Look at the colours. <laughs> look at, look, look. Mm, I can hear to, them. Sorry. Mm, Yun, Yun is, like, closing his eyes. Mm, I'm gonna... I'm trying to manifest my avatar abilities. I'm gonna do it. And he reaches his hand out. And he turns and uh he's with his hand reached out, he grabs Faye's boob, like, and he's like, I can feel it. The air bending, I can feel it. I can feel it. A Faye's Faye's mouth is just like open and she's looking at him like His eyes are closed, but he's like he's like vig and you can tell there's a Distinct concentration. It's like I can feel. I feel it. I'm bending the air. Whoa! No, you're no, boundary really. bending. Whoa. It's softer than I no, thought it would be. You dumb fuck! The that's, earth bending. That's, that's the my, rock. That's me and the rock. That's he that's he that's the rock. His, he opens his eyes and like looks at where his hand is, and he like frowns for a moment. It's like that's not right. It's not the air. No. No. <laughs> and he pulls his hand away and then looks at his hand. What have I done? And he just slumps and like <laughs> face hey, first hey, hey, onto maybe, the ground. Hey, 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 maybe, maybe I can air bend and then Taka starts whistling. Whoa. I might be the avatar. How do you do that? I. And he, he's just whistling the same, like really bad one note over and over again. <laughs> What, what what's whistling anyway? It's just airbending. That I might be the avatar, right? I'm bending the air. I'm bending the air. 
Faye's gonna poke Yun and go. I, I, I think he's dead. I think he's dying. I'm, I'm the next mm. avatar on the cycle. Oh, oh. I don't want to end like this. It should one not end more this rise, one more fall. Um, it's, it, 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 it's okay. You're mm -hmm. just. Did you're I just, touch your boob? Yeah. Oh, not bad. And, and it, it's okay. It happens sometimes. Oh man, I've never touched a boob. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. I don't, I don't remember what it feels like. It thought it was the air. But now my brain won't let me remember. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Sora, you come downstairs. Um, and there's a, ser a worried looking servant uh, wandering around at the front of the, uh, the building. Uh, um, uh, excuse me, madam. Uh, 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 is, 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 is the master of the house awake? Uh, the master of the house? Yes, uh, Jinshu. Is he is he awake? Jinshu. Master Jinshu. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen him. I uh, um uh uh. He has a panicked look on his face, and he is looking around frantically. Uh, anything I can help with? But there might be a bit of a um. There's an issue with uh. There is a fire outside right now. Um, I've been trying. We've been trying, but we can't do anything. And there's a very big fire. Can you get? Can you wake Master Jinshu? We're not allowed to. We're not allowed to go upstairs at night. Uh, sure. Um, f a fire. Where's the fire? The fire. Uh, the, the, the shrine. The shrine on the hilltop. There's a fire at the shrine. A, 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 a massive fire. Okay. Uh, y you do me a favor. Uh, get. Uh, a couple of glasses of water, um, let's say five glasses of water, uh, and some bread. Yes. Uh, or right. biscuits, colorful and biscuits, will... something, something about biscuits. Will they uh, help bring that put upstairs, up... uh, and no, I'll go wake up the fire. The master of the house. Oh, oh okay, I will, I, will, I, will, I will do just that. Um, yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Cool. He You're runs welcome. up to the kitchen. Okay, back upstairs. I'll go back upstairs and find the guy and also maybe see if any of my friends can help which I don't think they can <laughs> right what uh, <laughs> I can't remember what it felt like I didn't even Sora um, Sora Sora come back Sora sorry Tucker um, Yun I died she... Yun died and I'm the avatar now look I can airbend and I start whistling oh that's very good did I that. die okay, I'm sorry dead. I'm sorry I, I can't believe I died. There, 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 you got, there, you got there. to touch a boob, though. So it's, it's good. It's worth it. Uh, yeah. Uh, a valiant that... death. No, for I don't. A true think many... hero. I only wonder if any avatars have touched a boob before. I don't think so. Probably yeah. not. No. Uh, the, the, Probably the, not. There is there. there what if I don't get reincarnated thing? now? What if, what if me touching a boob means that I won't be reincarnated as the Avatar? Knock, 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 knock. Jinzao? 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 From the back, what you can hear is just... Hey, Jinzao, you awake? Knock, 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 knock. Yuna's dead. <laughs> 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 the shrine's on fire. Oh! 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 <laughs> Taka, maybe you should open the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick the here. door down. Uh, give me a wreck roll, or whatever the equivalent is. <laughs> <laughs> Strike or something? It is smash. I'm smash smashing. Ball, smash. it? Yeah. yeah, go on, smash that door. I bounce off the oh. door. You you crack your knee against the door doing it. Uh, you completely misjudge the swing of your leg and you just knee the door. Um, uh, you take a point of fatigue. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Can I try pulling the door? Yes. Does it open? <laughs> it opens, yes. Ginchu! <laughs> 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 um, Jinshu are wrapped around each other 
Um, <laughs> Yun is dead. I'm the avatar now, and I start whistling. Oh. Well, it's about time we had a good, strong avatar. Jinshu walks over to you Ooh. and picks you up by your shoulders and holds you upright. Smaller than I would have preferred. But we can make something of you. And he's just going to, like, punch you really firmly in the stomach. Uh, take another point of fatigue. He's not on cactus juice too, is he? <laughs> They're all on cactus They're juice, yes. Us. Oh my god. This is what okay. happens when you leave. <laughs> Sora's gonna just cover her eyes and, and walk in and say, Jinshu... They're fully clothed. They're just okay. wrapped around each other a well, little bit. Well, gross. I don't want to see that. Uh, Jinshu, the shrine's on fire. You need to come and help. No. Kaka's eyes are tear. We have to water bend now with my eyes. <laughs> it, yeah, the, shr the shrine's on fire. We need to put it out. I will. I will bury whoever did this. And he starts stomping down Taka's the... going to uh, go to Heyran and say, I'm usually the one who starts first, but I don't think I did this one. But in, just in case, can you come for me? Uh, tell him to hey, hurry up and come back. I was nearly there. Taka, do you think you could help put this out? Do you think you're feeling um, into it? Normally I help make fires worse, but I'll try this one. Okay. Well, this uh, sounds like a job for the avatar. No, you, yeah, you I'm died. Sure. I'm the avatar right. now. I'm... I am... Your reincarnation. But, but I'm yeah, still here. You're still the avatar. You, you're it's my avatar right. guide. I get to meet my own reincarnation? Check it out, I can whistle. You. And it was you, Taka. If it was going to be anyone, I'd have wanted it to be you. I'm going to grab a pot of tea and bring it down with me. <laughs> Perry sat in the corner looking very scared. I'm going to grab both pots of tea. Come on, everyone, let's go. Anyone that can firebend and or waterbend, let's go. I can probably water bend now. Let's, I, let's I, go. I, I, I can do it. I can do it. You can fucking do that. You, you loud bang. That's like your whole thing. I, your whole ability. I'm a professional firebender. I have always bended fire. I. Erwin is going to go. <laughs> wake we up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Hiwai is still dead to the world and has no, uh, no fucking mm, clue mm, what is going on. Mm, mm, mm. Wh why, why are you in my bed, Owen? Where's Barry? Mm, 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 You've been molested mm, by lots of people? Mm, mm, what is going on? Mm, okay, come, come on, show me, show me who touched you. Right. Mm, also, have you seen Perry? Like, usually mm, he comes to bed with me. Mm, Where is everyone? Uh, Erwin is like, uh, Lod, uh, comes out of the room, uh, shaking. Was it you, hands... I look, I look back I at Erwin and be like, was it this I guy? I didn't do anything. I did nothing. I, 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 I did nothing. Where, is, where did everybody go? Where, well, yeah, where is everyone? I was having a nice, a nice sleep. And then oh, Erwin yeah. comes in and wakes me up, saying someone's molested him. And, and then I come there to find you no here. molesting in this house. Jinshu says, storming down the stairs. Jinshu, where are you going? What, what's going on? Hey, Hiwe, uh, that's oh, a fire. Will you, you want to help us out? Can you yeah. grab oh. the fire? Um, be sure? Well, it's too early for this. What's going on? There's why, a fire why? at the shrine. We're going to go oh. try and put it out. I think we're going to have a party at the shrine. Is, sure. is everyone I okay? think there's a bonfire or something. Come on, Perry, I guess we've got to go help put out a fire? Okay. Move you guys outside. And we saw the guy in the entrance hall that had all the drinks and everyone had a drink of water. Yes. Everyone... As you walked by, the servant looked absolutely horrified as Malcolm, like, wrenched the bread from his hands uh, and the water was pulled... Uh, 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 the, the water was prized away. Um, Yun downed two glasses and then clapped his hands together before blowing the water out of his mouth into Taka's face. <gasps> Do you know what I just did, Taka? Did you just water bend? I just water bend. Taka's going to take a glass and do the same back to Yun. Oh. Faye's glass of water got taken. <laughs> Never in the history of all of mankind has there been two avatars, and yet today, here it is. 
Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. One time I saw Sora drinking some water and then she laughed and it came out of her nose. She might also be another avatar. Sora! Secretary. Secretary avatar. It, yes. That's got a need, ring to it. We need to go. You can take your water bending up to the shrine. We must. We must stop. Whatever this is. Whoever did this. I will crush them beneath the earth. Jinshu says, stomping forward. Your eyes, wait up. I. I. Laban, can you carry me? Oh, hey, Yan, don't you want to show you. me how to carry you for? I promise. I, I promise I won't touch your boob. I I I can't take that seriously after you just you just you just fell off a rock. Are you, are you guys high? I thought it was airbending. It's not uh, air. What did did he, you guys drink he, like what have you guys drunk tonight? I had so much lobster. Lobster? Where did you get lobster? <laughs> You went to bed early, so we, yeah. we, we, we ate so much food. Faye, you I, should I, not I, be walking in this so state. Much. Get on my back. I was literally mm. gone for like okay. Oh, okay. two hours. Where, where's, where's the predator gone? Where, where is she? The I'm predator. not a predator! I didn't know I was touching it! I just, I thought it was... I thought it was airbending, okay? Wait, wait not, what? Not Did you what molest I... Erwin? Erwin said that someone touched him. Oh, Erwin talk? Erwin, oh, yeah, I heard Erwin talk. What the fuck? No, he <laughs> didn't fucking talk. He's trying to fucking steal my thing now. Oh, uh, man's trying his... to make it less special no. now. He wouldn't is... want me to be special. I fucking knew this. I knew he'd try and weasel me out. You should go Who, deck him. That'll ban um, hit him. Go no, hit him. No, not, so not you, friendly. whatever you... It was good time. Oh. Can I... Well, can I... Is, come is... on, let's go Go to the fire. Oh, actually, Laban, are you, are you gonna be okay? Maybe you should stay back. I'm a firebender. Yeah, but... I... The, the fire. Bend the... fire. T trauma. <laughs> What's that anyway? I... 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 I know nothing of trauma. Uh, okay. Push I just kind down. of, uh, I walk in front of Laban to make sure All she, right. like, stays kind of farther away. Faye, I, I'm, I'm really sorry that I touched your rock. It was not <laughs> my intention. Uh, Faye's gonna, like, pat Yun on the head, but she can't really tell how heavy-handed she's being. Uh, yeah, he's he, he's he's pushed about an inch into the ground as you do that. <laughs> she, she's just like, <laughs> it, it's it's okay. I the the kids at the trip they do it all the time. It, it, it's, oh, uh, it's so I mean, I can do it again. <laughs> joking, <laughs> joking. And um. let, no, no. <laughs> if Kiyoshi found out I'd done that, she would she would kill us both. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, and then herself. Where, where is Kyoshi? Mm. Faye's gonna climb onto Erwin's back. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, right, no. um, I will fly you, you there, here. Faye. We're the only ones here. We need to put out this fire, or at least Harry, try. Look you after Laoban. Fly. Oh my God, Sora! Right. Sora! Everyone yeah, can fly. I forgot the marshmallows. We don't need marshmallows. We need to put the fire out. I, I leave but what about the s'mores? with uh, Laoban and run over to Jinshu walks Sora. over and slams his foot into the ground and with a <laughs> You feel the ground begin to shake beneath you. Come out, arsonist! I will crush your bones beneath the earth! Sora, I, I am an arsonist. Should I come out to him or... Uh... No, don't tell him that, please. Uh, he away, is oh it God. you? You're not you high, guys... are you? Be no, careful, what the fuck is going on with everyone? I went to bed early because of the training, and I wake up to this. It's too early for this shit. Yeah, I missed like, it all, oh. but apparently everyone's high on cactus juice. Yeah. Also, is it safe to vote? Like, we should keep an eye on Laoban, because you know the whole fire trauma thing, but she, she's not listening. 
which is too high. You want to keep keep an eye on her, and I'll try and sort <laughs> this out. I mean, yeah. Have you <laughs> seen Have you seen um, Kyoshi anywhere? Uh, her and uh, Haruki seem to be missing. Kyoshi was in my room last time. I saw. Uh, Kaka's gonna throw a glass of water resting. at the fire. Yeah, that's true. I've still got my two mug. Uh... Yun, did you see my water bending? I'm gonna try. I've got an idea. I am water bend this, and he pulls his trousers down. And oh, okay. No, let's let's stop this. that. No, I got this. We're gonna bend the water. That's, that's gonna... not how this works. Uh, it's not working. Why isn't it working? I'm gonna I, th I think maybe we need to look away. Right maybe there. maybe he's got no stage fright. <laughs> you guys need to stop watching me. I'm not, not water bender, I'm, people watching. I'm not looking. You're, you're a waterbender, right? You're the avatar, so why don't you waterbend? That's what I'm trying to do, secretary. All right, where where are my earthbenders, guys? There's like literally no, like... not coming. It's not coming. He pulls his trousers back up. It's not I... happening. Well. There's like a whole lake over here. Could you not like displace the earth underneath it to uh, make the water come over here somehow? We don't have oh. water benders. This is going to be quite difficult. Do you think I could just? <laughs> Do you think I could just move the whole like shrine into the lake? Wait, Faye, does Erwin understand when you speak? Huh? Oh, I, I don't, I don't know. Of well, course, I understand try, everything that's being try said ask him right to, now. Like, get a big mouthful of water and like just throw that on. We just need to get as much water on it as we can. I, he, he's a crocodile, hmm. not an elephant. <laughs> now, guys, those of you that are getting close to the shrine, begin to feel a sensation washing over you of lucidity and sobriety as you get closer and closer to the uh to the building itself yun who is right at the front is now blinking and his eyes are agape and he looks around at each of you and he looks over to sora did you just see my penis no, I definitely did not look when you had good, your Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay, this is not... What has happened here? How did I get here? There is a fire here. We are here to put it out. You're yeah, I see that. I see that. I see that. We need to put this fire out, like, right now. This this shrine is, like, sacred. Can you hear me? Hear me notices I... that people are starting to get lucid and drags Lao Ban back towards it, like, or um, towards Jun Tzu. Oh, As is. the lucidity fills in, this airy, happy atmosphere soon dissipates. As the true reality of the threat in front of you, this fire is spreading and is consuming the entire top of the mountain. Oh, it's no longer heart shaped. <laughs> Why is it always fire? <laughs> oh, God. oh God, oh God, ah, ah water mm. we need water even if there's no water the, here uh, the, lake, can... the lake is so far away is there sand do we have sand is a sand is ground a you're right you're right the earth the very earth and he like okay. claps his hands together and begins to bend and shape the earth underneath him earth benders, uh. try cover it with dirt taka if you can use your fire bending to put it out uh yeah yeah La sure La um La Bang, come, come with me uh. Can I try and, like, do a vortex swirl of air and, and remove the oxygen from it somehow? And Yeah, go ahead. Uh, give me a rely on your skills and training. Yeah. Um, That was Taka's role for something. What were you doing, Taka? Oh, I was going to try and smother the fire out. Oh, okay. Um, you do actually manage to uh, extinguish part of the fire. Um, Sora, uh, Taka, you attempt to, but the fire seems to like grow back. Uh, it's spreading very heavily. This doesn't seem like normal fire. This fire is aggressive, and there is something unnatural about it. Uh, Sora, as you attempt to engulf it, you can feel the heat spreading through your own body. The flames are hotter than any fire you have felt before. 
this Yun is, is going to attempt to help. Is there a way I can, like, assist Yun? Uh, if you're both earth earthbending, maybe? Yeah. I mean, he rolled a 13, so I think he's alright at the moment. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's alright. <laughs> yeah, he that's... claps his hands together, and you feel the... <laughs> as the entire mountain begins to shake, and the ground beneath the uh, the fire cracks as the and closes itself around. He twists his hands, and the fire is pushed further back. Mm. <sighs> Okay, this is something. I'm beginning to feel something. Those of you that are still close to this feel a sudden, anguished hiss. And everyone within 10 foot of the shrine takes a point of fatigue. Have, have I dragged Laoban away right now? <laughs> ah, depends what Laoban wants, really, in this situation. <laughs> She is very torn at the moment. This lucidity's hit, and she's panicking. Because this shrine is the only link to something that she's felt in a long time. So she feels this very strong need to protect it. Mm-hmm. And she's so always going to be like... to run straight in. Or at Go least down, Come on, top. get away from the fire. I know what you're like around this. I... <sighs> I, I need to, I need to, she was up there she she's up there I need to go no, I, no one's gonna be up there like they no. won't survive this fire she is she's up there and I I need to go find I need I need to find her can we at um, least put the fire out first I uh, what what it what if oh, don't go running into this? fire Laban come on like the cactus you should have worn off I what if, what if she's up there? What if it's my last time to talk to her? You're not going to talk to anyone if you're, like, burnt to death. <sighs> oh... Look, I'll, I'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for once we've put out the fire and it's safe. <laughs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I do like kind of a sort of like an assess the situation thing to kind of like try and sense the like spiritual like <laughs> energy of like what kind of what happened and what started the fire? Yeah, sure, certainly. Uh, Faye, when you attempt to uh, um, mother, I just want to attempt to smother it with dirt, yeah. basically. Um, the fire is still. It, the fire, you, you managed to stop the fire from spreading, but mm -hmm. you're not able to extinguish it. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, Sora, if you want to do your, uh, assess the situation. That's so, a question, isn't it? So, yeah, so just yeah. Like what, what happened, what is causing this fire kind of thing? This fire is being caused by unnatural means. This is not, an, this is not an accident, this is not, there is something almost otherworldly about this fire um you you can sense there is a strong spiritual energy like essentially weaved into this flame this whole area itself is intensely spiritual and this burning spiritual energy is severely upsetting the balance Hey guys, this putting this fire out isn't doesn't seem to be working without like everyone's combined uh, input, and we don't have everyone's input. So whatever this is causing this is something spiritual. Yun, do you think you can kind of connect to your spiritual side? Maybe I'm, I'm, your I'm, trying, I'm trying my best right now, but I'm just trying to keep the fire at bay at the moment. And you can see he's like bending the earth to try and smother the flames, which you keep growing by. Both him and Faye are like attempting to keep this fire and it's taking the their combined efforts just to stop this fire from spreading at this point. Hmm. 
it's it's not enough whatever's we need to stop whatever's causing it uh, I don't know how though what if we all the just start praying beneath you begins to twist and bend and Sora you feel the rock formation beneath you warping not as in breaking it's like the it's like it's changing in structure. It's like the very fabric of the the ground that you are standing on is morphing into something else. What is happening? I, this isn't from your earth bending, is it? I no, no. And I'm trying my best. And as he tries to bend the earth, the ground begins to change elements mm -hmm. the earth begins to become fire it becomes water and it becomes gusts of of gaseous liquids it's so almost you, like you the ground itself mountain. is bubbling can i just grab them and like pull them off the mountain you can you can certainly try well, i'll try to anyway. <laughs> You hear a as a structure collapses. Mm. As you, as Faye, as you go to turn, you feel a hand on your shoulder. You look back, and there is no one there. Um, she kind of like blinks and like shakes her head and she's kind of like is, is this just the cactus juice or something and she like goes to leave again and like hesitates almost mm -hmm. Faye come on we need to go Yan Pum. as you take a step forward Faye mm -hmm. your feet sink into the ground and you are pulled under to knee height Yun I... looks and attempts to, like, pull you out. And as he does, he begins to sink into the ground as well. Um, is there a way I can, like, push him out? Or is he too deep in? He's he's possibly more sh uh, in a more shallow state than you. He is currently trying to bend the earth. But the earth is changing so quickly and so aggressively that any connection that he seems to have with it seems to be faltering. You have to leave. I, no, this is... It's this not is, whatever you're doing, it's not working. You have to leave right no, now. I can't. This is a... This is a point of great spiritual pressure. This is this... The point won't change this, because it's on fire. It's this, still, this, just, this is a job for the Avatar. I need to do this. The and Avatar needs to stay alive. Together. And he places his hands to the ground, and there is a loud <laughs> as the entire mountain begins to shake. You feel your legs come loose. Um, she's gonna try and wriggle out if she can. Yun's Yun looks to you, and just. With a with a moment of just sheer clarity in his eyes, says, "Run!" And he's going to close his hand around the rock of the mountain, and the entirety of this mountain beneath you begins to tremble and shake. I'm gonna try and see what I can do to put this at bay as best I can. <laughs> This is what I have to do. This is what I was meant to do. You. He's going to slap his hands together and the cliff face folds in and begins to pull the flames under. That's one of the leaving only a small burning ember around it. The um. ground crumbles beneath him and he sinks further down. This is what I have to do. I have to do this. Faye's not gonna leave him. And she's going to try and basically bend 
armor around him to protect him. Okay. I have Give me a rely on skills, if you're, or if you've got an actual ability that ties Yeah, I'm just that. trying to find it. Normally, it would go on her. Hmm. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Um, it's basically, it's, it's called the Icon Wall of Perfection and basically it puts like a wall around them hmm. or something like that, but okay. I think I might just do the Rely on Skills or Training because I know there is a specific one, but I can't find it. Okay. Okay. So, the rock that you're bending encases around him. And for a moment, he looks like a, almost like a statue. <laughs> and the rock bends and cracks into position as he moves. And with a loud... <laughs> the ground beneath both of you cracks. And Yun's body falls and falls and falls into blackness. Deja vu. Do I, am I like just on the side or am I also falling? The, you are, you are looking down into this huge cavernous hole that has just appeared in this mountain. Fee's you feel another, you feel another hand upon your shoulder. <laughs> she, it's pulling she... you towards the shrine. She She's not really sure what to do. So she's just, she's kind of just going to follow it. She's not very spiritual, but she's just going to take that as a sign. Mm. At that moment, Laoban, you feel a hand on your shoulder. And almost like someone's index finger pulling you under the chin. As you feel your head being directed towards the shrine. Not that I'm trying to stare anyone or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going. <laughs> he always like, oh, my bum, what, what? I literally just said no. I like grab hold of that. As you, oh. as, as you move, create the ground is warping beneath your feet, and it's like you're trying to walk in quicksand. Laoban, on the other hand appears to be walking on solid ground. Sora, I've been buried alive once already. Do I have to do it again? Yeah, here I am. Oh, is it. still trying the hardest to follow Alban, knowing that, okay. again, they could also be Give buried alive. Give me a push your luck roll, please. Again. Uh, where are they? I should have got this ready in time. I apologize. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, push your luck. <laughs> okay, yeah, you manage to wade through the earth around you, and you manage to keep yourself above ground, feeling this cracking, warping ground that is now running from hot to cold very quickly. Laoban, you are able to just walk effortlessly across the ground. The earth is completely stable under your feet. Though around you, you can see the world, reality, bending and warping around it. As you get closer to the flame, 
You feel the intense burning heat coming from it. An unnatural heat. A heat that you know you have felt at least once before in your life. You feel your heartbeat quicken. You feel the pounding in your chest. You feel your palms begin to sweat. And you feel a hand upon your shoulder once again. And you feel a calming presence. And you feel a calm fill your very essence. And you know exactly what you can do in this situation. Please give me a rely on skills and training with a plus two. Mm -hmm. POA is literally just in the background, uh, like trying to keep up being like, Laban, <laughs> what are you doing, Laban? <laughs> but I get the feeling uh, that voice is drowned out. I mean, reality is warping at this point. You're. Mm. Laban, you raise your hands towards the flame. And you can feel the very heat from it burning the ends of your fingertips. You can feel your eyes, the water and moisture in your eyes drying. And you can feel this blistering heat approaching you. And yet, at that moment, you feel full control over this flame. I'd like you to describe to me how you extinguish this flame. She's almost going to just completely smother it as much as she can. So it's this attempt to just draw the fire towards herself and to just cause the oxygen to die so the fire just slowly creeps in on itself and extinguishes. As you do so, you feel the flames almost absorb into your own body and you feel a prickling sensation running up the bottom to the top of your spine and a horrific sensation of deja vu you feel the comforting hand on your shoulder grip ever so slightly as the flames snuffed out and wiped away from existence. For a moment, there is complete silence until the ambience of the night soon returns as a calm washes over the ground beneath your feet Hui mm -hmm. has solidified same for you Fei. and there is an aura of something almost otherworldly that is still present within this area but the initial danger itself appears to have dissipated Jinshu is uh, running uh, has already run off to go uh, find some staff members to assist with uh, sorting this uh, sorting everything out essentially he always just like is stood there open mouthed, like staring at Lao Bambi and like, holy shit, since when could you do shit like that? Valid that, question to be fair. That was that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lao Ban, you feel a further pull towards the shrine. <laughs> Yes, we're going up. Uh, Sora, Taka, what are you guys doing? Uh, Taka's I'm back gonna lean in. Sora, say what? What just happened? Come on, let's go see if they're okay. 
Kiwi, Faye, Laban, are you guys okay? I felt so helpless. Did, did you just see what Laoban did? She was incredible. I couldn't really see from the bottom of the mountain what happened. She, she's the one who stopped all of this. Laoban, how? I, I don't know. She was walking. The ground wasn't warping for her. I was trying to get after her and suddenly she just she just stopped it all. Are you sure you like, didn't have any cactus juice? I've been asleep, Taka. <laughs> cactus juice makes you sleepy. I, I don't know, it was like the ground was allowing her to pass. Like, she has some connection with whatever's there. Also, someone missing. Okay. Yeah, we're missing um, yeah. Uh, the old lady and um, Kyoshi. I said this earlier and no one cared. <laughs> Kyoshi's just resting. Oh, okay. Laban, are you okay? Yeah, Laban. So... What's going on? For lack of a better term, the shrine looks pretty fucked right now. <laughs> the uh, the greenery of the trees and the very ground itself seems scorched, almost corrupted. And there is a large gaping void that is formed in this open crater at the bottom of the uh, uh at the at the bottom of the wh where the shrine essentially used to be mm. there is an almost ethereal light emanating gently from it lao bam you feel something pulling you towards that light. And as you approach the edge, you feel a warm, uplifting sensation as though the very weight of your body has been taken away and you are now left with this calming, light, floaty sensation. The ethereal light from beneath begins to glow around your fingertips and slowly climbs up your hand until you feel a comforting warmth emanate through your body. And then, with a wrenching motion, your body is pulled into the pit as you fall and drop. Laoban! Uh oh. Laoban disappears into the void. No! Uh he away. Go straight after without even thinking. Yep, me too. Hey, are we going cool. or are we staying? I. Ah. Uh... My lady, I, I, I think this is this is far more uh, than we than we should be uh, getting ourselves involved in. I mean, we, we came here as entertainment. This is this is something else. They're just children, Lord. Y yes. Yes. Yes, and they are foolish children. They get themselves into foolish adventures. And we don't need to do that. We're fine. We're fine as we are. Lord. I I cannot, in good conscience, just leave them. What do you mean? What are you saying? You're saying Geronimo. <laughs> I'm saying I want to help. Perry also joins, because I feel like he would. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, where are you going? What's through there? Jack is yeah, going to move behind Lord and just push him in. And then jump <laughs> after. Give me a push your luck roll. A push your lodge roll. <laughs> Give me a push your lodge roll, yeah. <laughs> Can we call it that now? <laughs> I mean, Faye would be distracting him by speaking to him, so he'd have more of a chance to... <laughs> Yeah, extra nope, two. No, Kaka just falls in himself. 
<laughs> no, mix success with your extra two. You drag him along with you. And Lardia falls in. Oh! With you. <laughs> oh? 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 I think I think we should follow our friend. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. I swear yeah. you could speak earlier. Oh. Mm. And she's just gonna <laughs> fucking yeet yourself. Okay. Yeah. Um so each of you that jumps in, you feel this light fill your body. As you are pulled away into what momentarily feels like a sensation of utter nothingness. And that is where the campaign ends, right here. You're all dead. It was. Well done, guys. You did. Uh... <laughs> you guys. But no, your body feels distant it feels like you are moving free of any corporeal form your very essence your very being seems to drift in a vacuous void until slowly the sensation of sensation returns feeling throughout your body beginning with a slight tingling sensation as though every part of your body is coming back from a horrific numbing sensation a crawling almost, an almost uh, horrifically unpleasant crawling sensation that climbs from your toes to the very top of your head. And you feel the need to wriggle. And you suddenly remember that you have limbs. And soon, each of you comes to in this odd and unfamiliar environment. Looks like the swamp. Faye is immediately going to shout for Yoon to see if he's nearby. Your shout is oddly muted. You feel like you've got a voice, you can speak, but it's like you're talking through a blanket, almost. Mm. Everything seems both distant and far away at the same time. Your perception of depth, your perception of spatial awareness, your perception of reality as a whole seems extremely warped. Mm. There's a thick fog that's filled this environment and you can tell each of you that you are in some form of grassy area there's there seems to be small little ponds and and rivers but something about this place seems entirely unnatural are we dead is this the spirit world can we assess the situation again <laughs> <laughs> sure why not <laughs> So that's the situation. I feel like I would dead. know what the spirit world is, right? No one I don't know how spiritual like? is Sora. Like, I wasn't mean, her whole thing? Didn't, you didn't say that Sora skipped a spiritual training to go to university. No, yeah, she, yeah, didn't she, she did she, have she, spiritual she... training until she left because she was supposed to be the spiritual leader. So, uh, where is is that situation out there? Uh, so what are you asking me? Is this the spirit world? 
Well, it looks pretty fucking weird to me, that's for sure. I don't know, this weird foggy place that your body was just ripped out from, and you've just been dropped in this weird map that's got, like, green shit everywhere, and then out of some sort of, like, ethereal vortex. What sort of place within the Avatar universe, oh, great sage of Avatar knowledge, would hold such a place like this? Tell me, Morgan, what sort of place? I mean, you answered it, like, sarcastically, but I still got my answer, so I'm going to take that as a yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's sort of how these things work, yes. <laughs> I don't care how you answer it, I still got my answer. <laughs> well, I... actually, one thing I will say is... Actually, no, Sora doesn't know. Sora, Sora doesn't know shit about the spirit world, okay. as that role has shown us. <laughs> <laughs> Sora, so, um, she's probably never been she's spiritual. She's spiritual. Role for she's it. spiritual. <laughs> He always very oblivious to what they've just walked into and is still very focused on Lao Ban. Oh, yeah. And it's like, ooh, yeah, you, you think try... you're all dead right now. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even care. I still want to check that Lao Ban's okay. <laughs> no. Well, are you asking me, Faye? Go on. Assess the situation. Um... Ask your question. Uh. <laughs> uh. I don't know, I'm very confused. Make it good, because you'll get a sarcastic answer and it'll be hilarious. Oh God. You can ask um, where that guy is. You know Are what, since dead? everyone's doing it, I'll join in. I want to get dead? a sarcastic answer too. you. I'm, I'm asking, are well. we dead? I'm asking, are we dead? I mean, you're all fucking stood up, right, breathing, and uh, <laughs> walking around. I literally described your body regaining, like, yes. sensation, okay. and your yeah. mind regaining sentience. Uh -huh, would uh -huh. that happen if you were dead, or would you know, maybe you'd just continue not existing? I don't know, maybe... maybe... maybe I'm dead and this is my ghost. I get two maybe, questions. Maybe you are a corporeal ghost, maybe. Yeah. Obi, go ahead, ask your two questions. Uh, first question, <laughs> where are we? Second question, where's Yun? Okay, I can't tell you exactly where you are because no, what no, none of you as play, as characters or players would know what this place is. However, what I can tell you is that with your knowledge of the spiritual world, you would know this is not quite like the spirit world. There is something very different about it. From what you've heard in the of the interstice. spirit world, this is something else. What was your second question? Oh, where's, where's Yun? Yun is currently nowhere to be seen. Does this kind of... Uh, wait, no, you said it was a black hole that um, Yun fell into, didn't you? He fell into a black void. Yeah. Does this place feel familiar to what it was like when the shrine was like warping is it a same like kind of feeling there is a similar sensation to yeah. that yeah place seems to be more stable but it has mm -hmm. that same atmosphere to it there is something very unnatural about it there mm -hmm. is something uh very otherworldly about it and there is also something that seems kind of Again, uncorporeal. Everything mm -hmm. about this place seems to be both existing and then not existing at the same time. It's almost like reality is making and unmaking itself around you. Faye's going to attempt to bend the earth around her just to see if it is possible. Okay, give me a rely on skills and training, please. That's fine. Just bringing it up again. Damn it, my rolls no, are so bad. Nothing is happening. Mm. As you're trying to move the ground, there's nothing happening whatsoever. Hang on, are we not able to bend in here? I'm going to try to do the same thing. Okay. I'm going to try and do a quick flame. Okay. This is so it's odd. Nothing, nothing coming from your hands whatsoever. <laughs> Just because they're bad benders, though. <laughs> could be, could be, who knows? Maybe Faye's just really tired from trying to stop that massive fire. <laughs> that just used to still hit in Taka. Yeah. Kiwi is still, awe? like, also in, in awe of what Laoban did before. Laoban. Laoban. And is trying to get Laoban to talk to them, being like, are, are you okay? Like, 
I, I I've said that I'd follow you to help you find this person. Like, what do you want me to do? Is there anything I can do? I I don't know. <laughs> I I wanted to get to the shrine, but I I don't know where we are. <laughs> Hiwei now realizes they aren't at like the bottom of a well somewhere. It's like, oh, it's like, what? Where? Why is it all so foggy? Where are we? Do, wh what? What's going on? Any anyone got any ideas? Look at all these parts and, and... <laughs> same but different. Look at this tree. I'm gonna take a sample. What <laughs> is that? What was? <laughs> What? What is that? I, th I think that's that? my stomach. I've not that eaten you? like all day, I think, apart from like biscuits. So, uh, sorry. Come on, everyone, let's explore. Yeah. Well, man, does this seem familiar to you? I know you said you were like, searching for someone. Hi, hi. What is that sound? That's very distracting. <laughs> Can we follow the sound? Where is it coming from? It, it's my stomach, I'm sorry. From behind you, <laughs> uh, there's a large tree. And you can hear some strange guttural noises coming from it. Are you making the noise? Or is Sorry, that, in the this, tree? this seems like your jurisdiction. I'm just gonna stand back here. Hello? Can I, like, kind of try and look inside and. I don't know, part the branches and see if there's something in it. Let's make you can, it yeah. Do you want to part the branches? Yeah. As you do so, you feel a sudden <laughs> creature Christ. wrenching down on you. <laughs> human! Smack me, human! Unhand me! Uh, hey, sorry! Whoa, what a- you, you take that back. Sora does not smell, okay? Yeah, she uses that fancy soap. so strange. Who are you? You smell wrong. What And the creature you? edges closer to you. This fanged creature has slightly humanoid appearance, but something about it is very weird and uh, almost demonic. Sora, don't uh, listen to him. You smell pretty good. to you, Sora. You Kiwi is now hella impressed from another of the weird place, demonic thing. I can tell. Mm. Yes, well, we came from... We fell into a well. Uh, where do are we? Then, do you bathe in... cow bat droplings? In in water? What, what do you bathe in? You have a, a unique aroma. Sun. Sun? How do you wash sun. in sun? Sun. Sun. Oh, sun. sun oh. you child. Are you a chinchilla goat? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Am I a chinchilla goat? So what's a chinchilla no! goat? No! No, I am not. No? What are you? If you don't mind me asking. I am... I am a me! My name what? is Tutarung. Tutarung? Tutarung! And where are we? Tutarung! N nice, nice to meet you. Um, can we call you Toots on? for short? No. Okay, Toots. Tootay wrong. Toots. Tootay wrong. Tootay wrong. Uh, walks over to you, Taka, what? and slaps you across the top of the head. <laughs> this one is stupid. No, I this one is Taka. I am Tootay wrong, and you're in. The world between worlds. I see. Free from time and free from space. Huh. Humans don't come here. How did you get here? We um, fell into a well, we just told you. There was a blinding light and one of our friends Wait. fell, so we followed. Yeah, I'm... our friend Laoban felt compelled to come here. And we all friend just followed. Fell. Who's friend? Oh, um, that's Lal Ban. She points over to Lal Ban. Lal Ban! Hi. You? you? You smell different. Oh. That might be the cactus juice. <laughs> Interesting. You smell 
of a place and you smell of another place. Wait, mm. are, you, are you sniffing? Mm. Smell off? <laughs> like, do you recognize it? What? It, well, we don't really know much about our friend Lava, and we don't know where she came from. Do you no! recognize? Not very good friend, are you? Well, arguably not. No, but La Lava lost herself? lost her memory. <laughs> well, that was careless. <laughs> well, <but> yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, can you can you understand her her friend um, Malcolm? The, the turtle duck with her? Hey, I don't, I don't think anyone's going to understand a word I'm saying. And then at that moment, you all hear a voice emitting from the small turtle duck on <gasps> Laban's Wait. shoulder. Oh my gosh. He away, like runs over like, Malcolm? <laughs> the fuck? Oh my gosh, we can understand I Malcolm. I don't understand what's going on. Why is, why is everyone Mal looking at it is it everyone? Wait, we everyone understand. understand? Wait, everyone what, yeah, hear what hear Malcolm him. is saying right now. I, I think never expected that. him to have this sort of accent. Well, well the fuck's that supposed uh, to I, I thought this was all just an act or something like a skit that that Lola was really Charles committed to. I, I don't, I don't like this. There's a lot of, lot of eyes on Wait, me right now. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna, Harry, I'm gonna, can you gonna, talk? It's gonna scurry oh, down Irwin into Lavan's jacket. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Perry. How this one! Doing? This one does not talk, but there is something. He smells different too. What do you mean to do? Hmm, <laughs> very different. Interesting. I got stuck under it, or went, sorry, I'm just gonna. There you go. <laughs> Slide Owen out of the way. <laughs> sorry, I was just trying to move closer to Tutorong. What do you mean mm. he's. What, what, what do you mean he smells different? Like... You eat sea, smelly human. <laughs> Some of you have a distinct smell, and then others of you have a different smell. What but you all like? smell very bad to Tute Rung. Very bad smells. I'm I'm sorry. Um, is there a way I can fix it? Or no, you no. smell as you smell, and you will continue to smell until the day you die, and then you will smell more. Many oh. smells throughout your life. Um. <laughs> mm, so many smells. Hey, Tuteron, uh, yes! are there any other um, creatures that live here? Is it just you? Do you or... Only Tuteron oh. here. Except for Is you now, okay? you're also here. So there's no other life here? Life? There is no life here. But well, things need alive, to exist for there to be life. Um, do things not exist? Everything here both exists and does not exist. He always had hope. In a constant turn of events, reality is made and unmade. <laughs> Time and space will warp around you. It's quite, it's quite easy to get your head around when you really think about it. You know, nothing um, here. Nothing here is real, and yet... Nothing out there is real either. It's all just a fabrication, both created and existing and not existing parallel. I think I'm high. He sounds like King Who. He, he sounds Hoo like he doesn't give a shit, does he? <laughs> he does. I've heard about this in philosophy um, textbooks before. To, oh. to say wrong. Yes! Um, you didn't happen to see uh, a boy um, roughly this height. She like gestures. Um, and hey, and she, uh, covered in uh, rock, would you have um, recently? I've not seen anyone recently, but people come at different times. Those right. that do. Wait, so you've seen other people here before? People come, and people have been. Who, who was the last person you saw before you saw us? You misunderstand. People come and go, but it has yet to happen and has not yet happened. I see. My brain really but happens. also, um, um, it has happened already. Sit down. Right, okay. So it's not yet happened, but it could happen. And everything that can happen will happen and 
has happened, but it yet not happened. Okay. It's I'm... very difficult for human minds to get around because human minds see time as A to B, when really it's A to Y to Z to Q to B to Z to Q to Z to Y to P. Okay. The always just slowly, slowly getting closer and closer to lying in the fetal position. There is no beginning, <laughs> thus there is no end. So... It is all a circle. It goes around and around and around and around and around and around. And yet sometimes the circle never happens. And when the circle never happens, then there's nothing. And yet when there is nothing, something must be there to see that the nothing is there. So the fact that you are here means that there is something. And thus the circle I exists. I see. Okay. Do you know how we can get back, though, like, to the physical world? You want to return to the point you were at? It's uh, quite simple, really. Very simple, actually. Just never have come here in the first place. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Because if you'd have never been here, then you wouldn't be here right now. Right. So we can just change our minds and then leave, is what you're saying. Uh, humans can't do that, no, because humans are very limited in their abilities. Can you do that? Can Perry do Actual that? Run can do many things. Can you help us? No, TK Run cannot help. <laughs> can you tell us how we can get out? And do you want to go back? Again? Yes. yes. Wait, back to wait. The world, find our first and then back go. to the point that you came from. The exact point you came from before you came here, you'd like to reverse that and not be here. G guys, can we like ignore ignore this person for now? It's really hurting my brain. And we've gotta go find the Avatar, us will be in a little bit of shit. And Laoban's searching for someone. The Avatar! Yes! <gasps> you see what? the Avatar? Mm. It takes the power of the Avatar to Why open a gate talking? like this through time and space. Wait, what? Oh, Yun must have done it then. Um... Yeah, that makes the, sense. The during during the fire, um, the ground beneath us, it began to swallow us, and you managed to free me. And all I could do was encase him in armor before the ground opened up and he fell in. Oh, it sounds like you had a very traumatic time with that. That sounds bad. Anyway, <sighs> if you wanted to get out of here, you need to make sure. That that never happened in the first place. Easy, really. Great. Um, did you see or do you sense the avatar somewhere in this no, place that exists but doesn't like exist? And I know, I know, my got a keen nose. They smell very mm, really. particular. Very, very particular. Was I anyone else existing want... but not existing here at this moment in time? Oh, but there's many things that exist and then don't exist. And Tuto Rung but... runs over to the lake and gestures in. Like there, for example. This this leads to a gate that will take you to somewhere else. Or somewhere else. Are there any other gates like this? <laughs> there are many what? gates around here. They unlock and they turn up. And then they cease to be again. If if we go into one of these gates, can we get back to here? You can definitely go back to somewhere. But Great. they will only be reflections. It will take you somewhere, somewhen, and somehow. But you won't be there because you're humans, you can't change. Can't change anything. So we it will can... be look it will be like when you put your hand in your pocket and in there you find that little bit of lint and it's just been and you're like oh you wonder how long that's been there because it definitely oh. wasn't there before and then like when you put your hand in again that lint isn't there anymore fleeting it was definitely there maybe it's under your fingernails you don't know feel like a two-dimensional creature my brain, I, I can't cope with this. Um, oh, what, why? We should explore. 
Does, do you think that's safe? Nothing's safe here, but no, at the same no. time, you can't die here because you don't exist here. So exactly. what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that you could be trapped here forever and I'd have to stick around with you all this time. Frankly, mm. not great. So if we don't exist here, do we feel yes. pain? Oh, and he always just feel... punches Tacker on the arm. <laughs> uh, Tacker, you feel an aching pain spread out. Not just across your arm, but your entire body. Okay, that hurts both physically and emotionally. You know? Yeah. I feel kind of betrayed by that. <laughs> you thought that that would hurt you, and thus it hurt you. That's how the mind of a human works. But so so if I don't I think, think it will hurt me, me, it won't hurt me. Oh, exactly. should we try it again, Tucker? Like <laughs> Alright, this, this time, time try it again, but this time I won't care. Okay. Okay. Here we tries it again. <laughs> you feel like the sensation of like a fist striking into you, but it doesn't you don't feel anything. Like pain. Holy cow. Alright, Huey, let me do you now, and I'm gonna deck Huey. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, mm. Huey, you are knocked off your feet. Um but as you are not her. concentrating on any pain or anything, it's just, you feel nothing. That didn't hurt. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Oh my god, Say, do you want to fight? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like Sven! Tute Rung says, and they bite into Taka's shoulder. Uh, Taka, you feel an immense pain as they bite into your shoulder. Oh, shit. Um, that, is, that is real pain. He takes a point of fatigue. <laughs> I, think, I think maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Um, yeah, you're right. We came, we came here for Laban. Yeah, and maybe you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to fight you another time, Huey. Okay. Now, I'll, if you I'll have you any that. questions for Tute Rang that your feeble, three dimensional brains can try and comprehend, then go ahead and ask me. If I think I can fly, could I fly? You can float. Flying is actually more of a uh, sort of defiance of, of air current, you're sort of pushing against it. So, in a way, you could, if you believed you could. So, but... does that mean Taka could airbend if he believed he could? Taka can do whatever he believes he can do while simultaneously not being able to do anything. So, in many like, situations, normal... Taka can be. Much like Tute Rung, a being that can move between reality. But as it stands, you are the corporeal, boring human version, so no, you can't do any of those things. But there is a version of you that probably can. Is there a chance for us to meet this version of ourselves while There's we're here? There's always the chance. Always. Okay. Hey, la la the tiniest, tiniest, see... infinitesimal ah. chance, yes. I mean, we met another version of Sora, and she was like really not that great. So I'm not that ecstatic about meeting another version of any of us. Taka, that's that was a different person. What? We've been through this. It's it's not Sora. Evil Sora's not Sora. Yeah, that's like a uh, shadow situation, right? No, it's a completely different human. Okay, Sora, you've lost you me say there. You knew this person. Y yeah, someone I used to know. Um, but that's for another time anyway. Uh, we should try and figure out where we are and how to... Oh look, a portal's just opened. <laughs> From the water that Faye approaches, mm -hmm. something ethereal appears. Oh, that's one of them! That is what we call a pocket! If you jump mm -hmm. into that pocket, maybe you'll find some lint! And maybe it'll be your own lint. Maybe it'll be someone else's lint. That's the exciting thing. It could be anything in there. Hmm. But just no matter how real and dangerous and horrific it may, may, may seem to you, you can't change a thing. There is nothing you can do. No matter what your actions do, you will not be able to change a thing. Right. Humans hmm. can go from A to B. You can't change that path. It will not work. Could we possibly find our friend in one of these pockets? Maybe. Possibly. Literally anything is possible. Well, should we go then? I think it would be a good idea. 
everyone I, in favor? I think we should at least try to find Ian. If you do get any nervous sensation of feeling that your your body is no longer your own or that the world around you is not not quite what it seems, mm -hmm. that's because it isn't. Basically, it's all. You just, it's just, it's just an infinite layer of time and space all bound together like a big elastic ball. Like a carpet with multiple threads weaving through it. Like a big wibbly no, wobbly no, 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 ball no, 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 of climbing no, wimey stuff. Ball, elastic band ball. That's, that makes more sense. There's lots of those yeah. wrapped around each other to create something physical and corporeal. No, th thank but fourth you. dimensionally from third dimensionally. I, I think I follow. Um, what do you think you do? But it's okay. Wait, <laughs> Tutte Rung, are you gonna come with us? <laughs> and Tutte Rung disappears off into the tree. I'll take that as a no. Should we go? Um, Faze just anything to, to get away from that guy. Jesus Christ. Um, Laban, he is are like you, so are weird. You okay, coming this way. I mean, um, do we know that we're ever gonna come back here? Like. What if we jump into someone else's pocket and we can't? I mean, find I think at this again. point, anything. If we just think of ourselves as dead, then anything's a bonus. Great. <laughs> That's fun. Ah, we've been through worse. <laughs> I did not want to come here, Lad says uh, as he lambers and follows you in. <laughs> uh, at that moment, you feel a rum, rum, rum. As the water uh, around you begins to warm to what is essentially body temperature, and mm. you barely notice the sensation of it until you feel the very atoms of your being being torn apart at the atomic scale, just ripped apart. Ouchie. Um, almost instantaneously. Oh, ow. So sore. Ow. It's fine. If you don't think it hurts, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, just ignore it. Like I do most of my problems. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. This is like second nature for me and Taka. It doesn't exist. It's all good. <laughs> oh. You appear... What looks like? A very colourful and jovial carnival. Um, some of you who've uh, lived in the uh, Earth Kingdom may have uh, may have experienced uh, one of these travelling carnivals before. Um, there is a uh, lots of big events, lots of lots of like uh, tourist attractions that draw people to this place. I feel like Faye... Kiwi would have definitely have worked at one of these <laughs> at some point. Faye, <laughs> this place feels almost sickeningly familiar to you. Yeah, she looks pale as fuck. She knows exactly what this is. Um, the portal behind you disappears entirely. And unlike that world between worlds you were st standing in before, this place feels much more solid and corporeal. As, thankfully, do you. I'm going to try doing a bit of firebending and see if it works this time. Okay, give me a rely on skills and training. Just a small flame to see if I can. <laughs> a little spark erupts from your fingers. Close enough. <clears throat> step right up! Step right up and test your strength! If you can ring that bell, you can win one of our fabulous prizes! <laughs> hey, Faith, you should try it. Uh, sure. Oh, no, no, no. Lao Ban was great at this last time. Lao Ban, do you still have your teapot? I got the teapot and broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it weren't my one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I, 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 I think you've probably got stronger muscles than anyone else here, so. That's valid. No, I'm going to fucking uh, go and do it, mate. It's no one so else can hear Malcolm any. No, Aww. you can't hear Malcolm I was anymore. just about to ask. <laughs> Faye's actually just going to stick with everyone. Okay, so 
Uh, just grab that hammer over there, little lady, and you just got to hit that little... Uh, she won't be needing there, it. And we can ring that back. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what, what? Don't worry, I bought my own. Right. Okay, well, uh, off you go, off you go. And he's going to stand back and let you take a swing. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Nice. There's a loud metallic ding sound as you effortlessly strike the uh the the the, the weight at the bottom. <laughs> Bloody hell, okay. Uh okay, let me go get your prize, little lady. And he's gonna he's gonna walk into the back and he's scurrying around. And he uh, pulls out a large red helium balloon that he passes oh, over to you. Yeah. Would you like me to tie it around your wrist so it doesn't get away? Yeah, go on, go ahead. Okay, little girl, let me wrap that around for you. How fucking old am I? There you go. Okay, kids, does anyone else want to have a go? No, that's fine. This is fascinating. It seems like we're back in the real world, but where are we? I think or when are we, if we're going weird. by what that dude said? Yeah, Does he's anyone... treating me like a child. Does anyone recognize this? Like, Wait, I feel I, f- <laughs> I, 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 I feel a, like uh... I've been here before, but... Uh, excuse me, kids. Uh, are your parents like, anywhere kids? around? Uh, you really shouldn't be at the carnival on your own. Kids? Um, sorry, um, how, how old do you think I look? I mean, we've got a guy that can guess that, but uh, oh, I'd that? say, uh, I'd say, you know, someone your age, like 10, 11, probably. Do you think all my friends look that age? Uh, well, not this lady here. She looks uh, sort of maybe uh, late teens, early 20s. Are these kids with you? Uh, yeah, yeah right, I'm taking them out for a day at the circus. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well... Keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get into any trouble. I'll he's do my best, thank you. Walk up, he's gonna walk back away. But why do they think we're children? I... I... I think we're in one of my memories? Or... This looks like my family's circus. Or similar? I, I don't know. Katka's gonna <laughs> go to this, like, bucket of water and look at his own reflection. Uh, and see what I can see. Wow, Taka actually uh, had a um, smart idea. So Taka, <laughs> you look in, and the reflection looking back at you is of this um, bright-eyed little boy with some teeth missing. Um, you've 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 got like floppy hair that's uh, that's covering. You've got little bangs covering over your covering over your eyes. Is it me you as a kid, about... or am I a completely different kid? You look you look like yourself at about nine years old. Okay. Mm. Hey guys, go look at that bucket of water over there with the little turtle ducks floating in it, the little rubber ones. Why? Trust me, there's something really cool at the very bottom of that tub. Oh god. For research. <laughs> Sora ran. <laughs> Sora, you look in and there is this um pigtailed little girl looking what what Actually, no. What would what would Sora have looked like at about 11, 12 years old? Describe her to us. A, a little nerdy kid uh, with glasses. That Does she have braces? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know if you get braces in the world. But it's something no, I know. <laughs> um, Lao Ban, there is a pink-haired little girl looking back at you. You do not recognize her in the slightest. But we all look normal to each other, right? Like You look normal to each other. Faye, you look like you're in your sort of late teens, early 20s. Hmm. When you were... Uh, you, you, this, is, this, is, this is how you remember yourself looking in your yeah. youth. Yeah. You are pretty much only just an adult. She sighs and walks back to Erwin. Oh? Oh? Do you recognize this too, Erwin? 
Of all the places, why here? At least they think we're just visiting. Mm -mm -mm. There is a loud <laughs> as a man is fired from a cannon. That one was not my fault. <laughs> no. <laughs> he scrambles to his feet and runs on over to each of you, clutching a large uh, pile of leaflets. Okay, kids, oh, I'm, I'm one of the uh, sideshow hosts here. I'm here to promote. Uh, we've got a big circus show. We have uh, a, a, something of a uh, special uh, performance that will be performed tonight. Uh, we actually would be uh, viewing the ballet of the badger moles. Do you kids know what badger moles in? Have you ever seen a badger mole before? I love badger moles. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you do, little Valor. That I'm one sure song that goes badger mole, badger mole, badger mole, mushroom, mushroom. No, no I assure you, uh, our our badger mole trailer, Emmy, Faye, she is weasel, snake, one weasel, snake, of the weasel. Best. Faye, you recognise the name Emmy, <laughs> as that is the name of your younger sister. Oh no! It's cruel using badger moles in in a circus. Oh, no, 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 little girl, you got it all wrong. We take very good care of the badger moles. We feed them, we trim their nails for them, we give them trim a little nails. scrub behind their ears. No, 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 but you just make sure that they're not scuffing the carpet, you know? Faye's going to tap this guy on the shoulder just to see if he uh, recognizes yes. her. Uh, oh. Oh, miss. Didn't know you were going to be here. Well, what day is it? What what's happening today? Oh, it's, it's the dance of the, uh, the 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 badger moles. It's just a mm -hmm. big show. Your sisters was looking forward. Did you get an invitation? I heard you were in town. I was here too. Interesting, interesting. Okay, um, well we're glad to have you. Are these kids with you? I I'm looking after them. Uh, ah, today. that's good. Good of you. Good of you. Your mum will be very happy to see you. She's uh, She's been missing you. How long has it been? I... How long has what been? Uh... Since you la since you ran off and left your poor mum behind. <laughs> it's been about five years, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure she'll be very happy to see you. Very, very happy to see you. Yeah, definitely. Don't tell her I'm here just yet. I, I wanted to kick for a surprise. Of she course. Like, smiles, of course. but she's like well, gritting her teeth. Here's the tickets for the entry. So you want to go see the dancing of the badger moles. Your sister, Emmy, she has been working so hard on it. She has got those, she's got that badger mole pirouetting in such a beautiful way. She was always it's really astounding. good at that. Astounding. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I need to go load myself back up into the cannon. But if you need anything, uh, just talk to me or one of the other sideshow hosts and we'll help you out. Okay. Any, uh, does a backflip and skips off back to the cannon where he loads himself back up. Faye's gonna uh, collapse into Erwin and just kind of like, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was right, it is no here. For you. Now, Faye, you have a memory of this, this day, but it is a foggy one. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened at this carnival, you have pushed to the very recesses of your mind to the point that you now relate it to a dream you had months ago. Yeah. It's got that level of haziness to it. All you know is that something very, very bad happened here. Oh. Is everything okay? Hey. I. This is my family's traveling circus. It's something. It's like I remember, but I don't at the same time, and it's just so frustrating. But uh, every 
everyone just needs to be careful. Something bad's gonna happen, but I... the, the, the weird guy who hurt my brain said we can't change anything, so are we just like observers here? I yeah, guess. Yeah, right. I don't think we can change anything. This is probably but, somehow a memory of yours, and we're not I, it's weird that we can interact with people and things here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so long as everyone behaves, I'm sure it'll be okay. Walking down the pathway is a young man, uh, dressed mostly in black, his hair tied up uh, at the back. He locks eyes with you, Faye, mm -hmm. and you instantly recognize him as your uh, your, your younger brother. Um, One of. <laughs> yeah, his name's, his name's Fang. Um... <laughs> Could you write he that under his token for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I can't tell if you said Fang or Fang. Fang. Fang, okay, thank you. Fang. Fang? Fang. Fang. Okay. Fang. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm dyslexic, but with my ears, I guess. Ear dyslexia. Yeah. Uh, as, he, as he locks eyes with you, he <clears throat> narrows his eyes and scowls. So he showed up then. I thought I would stop by while you were in town. Did you bring children with you? I'm doing a favor. Right, none of these are yours then. <laughs> no, no. I don't know. Don't know what you've been getting up to. Too good to talk to us now, right? <laughs> it's. N it was never that I was too good to talk to you. I just needed. To right. No, I get it. You needed to get away from us because we were just trouble, right? No, you, you weren't trouble. I was just overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm sure you were. We're all pretty overwhelmed at the moment. But you know what? Emmy's been working pretty hard. And you know what? People are pretty impressed with what she's done. Yeah, she's incredible. She's always been incredible. Yeah, yeah, she has been. No thanks to Sam. <laughs> just gonna... Yeah. Walks on over and just goes to talk to one of the Carney guys. Um... From your memories of Fang, he is a bit of a dick. Yeah. That's about the extent of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fang is uh, probably only a couple of years younger than you. Um, uh, like... But is uh, he's like a year younger than Emmy, uh, who, and Emmy's like maybe two years younger than you. Okay. Faye's like the eldest, so the... Yeah. Yeah. We'll probably meet more of them. Come on. So, Faye, why did you leave? I... You know, I'm sure we'll all find out together today. <laughs> we can... Like, put my arm on her shoulder and say, <sighs> Hey, we'll get through this together. Don't worry, we're here for you. I just... Whatever happens. I I don't know if this is... Uh... I, I, just hope... this... I just hope we don't re run into my mother. POA like excit excitedly starts going towards like the Badger Mole show because yeah. uh, they want to show Perry how to do tricks. It's like, Perry, you can learn some stuff to do. Hey, kid, you got a ticket? Thanks, it's okay. I I've got them. Um, okay, got, um... oh, fine. Okay, we'll keep these kids in check. We don't want them making I'm... a mess of the place. And if I'm... any of these kids get lost or hurt, that's on you, okay? Yep, I know. You're already dead. That's a big word for such a little. They're boy. very smart kids. <laughs> Thanks, <Ash. laughs> I'm glare at him. Hey, There's... Perry, high five that guy. <laughs> uh, and he goes to, and he reaches up and goes to slap Fang. Uh, Fang ducks out of the way of it. Oh, we're all very well trained in avoiding attacks. I'm, I'm, I'm literally an acrobat, but whatever. Yeah, Aaron, you should try. <laughs> <laughs> You alright, Erwin? I haven't seen you in a while. Alright, I see. You've been looking after her? Yeah, well, you know, you look after each other. And then he uh, gives Erwin a pat on the back. Good man, good man. Right, well, if you guys want to go watch the show, go ahead. Yeah. Thank, to teeth, thank yeah. you, Fang. Thank you, Fang. Fine, go on, go on, go on in. And he's just gonna like he looks done. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, he, and uh, as you guys head in, he's probably gonna follow you in. Actually, let's move you into 
the circus for Uh, Faye, as soon as you enter, you see very clearly <sighs> your mother is in the audience next to your, your baby sister, Dan Dan. <sighs> as you walk in, her eyes instantly lock onto you. Uh... Hey, hey, Faye, can we, can we be a dick to your mum? Will that make you feel better? No, don't. It's no. oh. definitely not worth it. Mother. Maybe the other side of the tent? Uh, yous can all go sit down together. I probably have to deal with this. Do you want us to, to join you? You can, you can stick close if you want. I can't really leave you all unattended while you look like yeah, children. Yeah, I think, I think we, we, you're, you are our legal guardian for today, so we have uh, to stick with you. Let's go sit with my mom. I have an idea. Oh no. Everyone can sit here. Ow, Erwin just stood on me. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh... <laughs> oh. You wanna? Yeah. Sorry. I've shrunk. I've shrunk you all down to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw us all as kids. <laughs> um, as as you sit down, Faye. Uh. Mm -hmm. Ying, who is uh, who is where your middle name comes from initially? Mm -hmm. uh, she turns to you um, and then looks straight ahead. So you showed up then? I heard you were in town. I thought I should at least stop by. Really? It's only taking you what? Is it a uh, half a decade? <laughs> Time has to pass sometimes, mother. Yes, yes, it does, doesn't it? I don't think you've met little Dan Dan. No. She's three years old. She was born after you left. Dan Dan, uh. this is your estranged sister who has graced us with her presence today with an mm. army of brats with her, no less. Well, I guess I learned from Excuse the best. me, miss. I'm not a brat. I'm an orphan. Oh, picked up an orphan. That's lovely. And what's your name, little boy? My name is Taka. What's your name? My name is Ying. Oh, he's very well mannered, this one. He can't be one of yours, Faye. I, I don't have any children, Mother. I'm just looking after them today. Of Why course, are you being mean to the nice lady who's looking after us? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what's your name, little one? Kiwi. Kiwi. Okay, let me explain something. Um, now, you know how you have um, family members who will do I don't. anything for you? Do you not even nope. orphan as well? Yeah, they all got blown orphan. up in a village. All orphans. That's very mm -hmm. sad. Well, you see, when you have a mummy and daddy, um, those mummies and daddies have these expectations of you that, you know, because of all the hard work you've done raising them and bringing them up into the world, that maybe later in life they could assist you, maybe in helping look after all the other brothers and sisters. That, who are that here. sounds very red flaggy. That sounds like a mummy like and daddy a problem, not a, uh, a child problem. Yeah, that sounds more like abuse. That's a huge thing to burden your child with, you know, just thinking that they're mm. going to have all the responsibilities. I'd rather not have parents than have a mum like that. Oh, well, I'm sure they'd feel the same way about you. And uh, Ying's going to look uh, out into the audience. <laughs> Faye turns and looks at them and gives them a thumbs up with tears in her eyes. She's, <laughs> She's hey, actually quite us get adopted, we're chosen. Yeah. <laughs> Faye's kind of like shaky with her thumbs up. <laughs> um, a little girl is sort of now edging closer to you, like sliding across the seat mm -hmm. over to you, Faye. Um, hello. Uh, Hi. Hi. Um, are you, are you... You're my sister. Yeah, I am. It's so nice to meet you, Dan Dan. I, yes, I, um, Emmy said that you would be here. Yeah? And you're here. I'm here, yeah. Emmy was right. <laughs> yeah, she was. Mummy said you wouldn't come. Your mummy sounds really mean. I don't like her. Dan Dan, like, looks at you, Hue, and... She looks visibly confused by what you've said. 
<laughs> I'm sure your mummy's been wrong about a lot of things before. Um, no. no. Would you like to sit with me, Dan Dan? We can spend some time together while I'm here. Without any hesitation, she like leaps into your lap. Yeah. Um, Faye kind of just uh, like pats her on the head and like runs her fingers through her hair. Like that. Like it looks very practiced. Like this is something that Faye is very used to. And it's like she's almost unintentionally falling into that pattern. Mm. Emmys work very hard on this. Yeah, Emmys. Emmys very talented. I'm really looking forward to see her. She does the town. Mm, head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> who's that? That's Erwin. He's my partner. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, she's taken on a uh, creature as her partner. Instead of finding herself a nice husband to look after <laughs> her. You know what I mean, mother. Mm, I really don't know anymore with you. And she uh, stares out uh, once again. I wouldn't resort to bestiality. To your, fair, your it mother. does give me eyes. <laughs> uh, Ying goes a very red colour at the, uh, the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> What's bestiality? <laughs> it basically means um, when a human fucks an animal. Ladies and gentlemen, please, <laughs> if everybody can be silent, Feng says, staring directly at you, Faye. Yeah. Today we have a grand show. My sister here, Emmy. Emmy, Emmy, get over here. Emmy, Emmy, Emmy. Oh, yes, sorry, sorry, yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Emmy the Magnificent. The guns for something Woo! electric, tip, but you didn't. You chose to go for something that why why not Emmy the Excellent? You know, we, we workshop this. And I am here today with my Badgermo friend Bernard. Badgermo Bernard, give everyone a wave. And the Badgermo stands up on his on his hind legs and waves his massive arms in the air. I'm the like, audience. Harry, wave Whoa. back. Whoa. Uh fee claps and stuff for them. I have been working tirelessly to train this badger mole to dance like a ballerina. A badgerina, if you will, Feng says. <laughs> the audience smirks, but there's mostly silence. They laughs really hard at that. You wait, what if Perry can learn this? At these people. I don't know. I hope Perry learns something from this. That would be amazing. Anyway, oh, no. um... Cool. Emmy's been working real hard rehearsing this, so if everyone can be upstanding and giving a round of applause and encouragement, my Back little sister here. stands up. Yeah. <laughs> and Feng's gonna just go and sit back down with the audience. Okay, Bernard! And she raises her hands into the air, and there is a drum roll in the distance. A and up! And the badger mole stands on its hind legs and pressing its little claws into the ground elevates itself up into the air. Wow. It manages to carry its full weight. Magnificent, Bernard! Magnificent! Emmy says, standing underneath the great lumbering creature. And now, rotate and spin! And the badger mole begins a full circular rotation. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Yep. <laughs> and begins to pirouette on the spot. Speeding up. Magnificent! Magnificent! Emmy shouts. And with a sudden a tremble runs through the ground as the creature slips its claws digging at the ground it scrambles emmy watches as the great lumbering creature bounds down upon her with a there's a 
followed uh, by silence. They immediately uh, passes Dan Dan back to Ying and like runs over. Yeah, I'm sure she had Kova with us today. Um, she's like trying to see if she the can move. The badger mole is like collapsed in a heap as well. And there is just a sound of just tense silence among the audience. Emmy? Emmy? What is... What is... Okay, the show's over. Everybody, please, please uh, leave. Feng says, uh, like, edging closer to you. If everyone can please exit, we uh, may have an incident. And he looks over at you. What are you doing? Like, bend or something? I am uh, panicked. Like, Faye tries to, like, bend, like, like lifting the badger mole off the ground, like, at, like, specific points of its body to support it. Um, Give me it... a rely on skills and training, please. Okay. The ground beneath you is still trembling slightly, and you can feel a tremble spreading up your hand. Um, there is nothing but silence from both the badger mole and the person underneath it. Um, what are you... Get, uh, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying, gonna I'm raise trying. his hand into the air, and he slams it on the ground, and with a... <laughs> the ground shifts ever so slightly, and the badger mole limply rolls off to reveal the very crushed and battered body of Emmy. Get, get away from her! Get away from I her! <laughs> Why? Get I up. didn't like Emmy. 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 And he's like, and he's like, place it, he places a hand uh, underneath her. There is a stillness to her. Emmy. And suddenly, her eyes open. <gasps> Emmy. Emmy. Are you? Emmy. Can you see me? Emmy. 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 And she like looks up at Fang. The show, um, what, what happened? The show, yeah, I think the show's over. I think the show's over. <laughs> Emmy, um, yeah, um, are you feeling okay? You feeling any pain? No? You... Don't feel anything. And she, like, lifts her head slightly. And her body is broken and bruised. I don't... I don't feel anything. Can, can you wiggle your toes? Can you... can you... Or your fingers, can you do any of that? I... I can't... I can't... And tears begin to fill the corners of her eyes. I don't... Get away from her now! <laughs> Get away from her! Faye takes a step back. I, I, what do you mean? I... Emmy, I... Emmy, are you okay? Are you okay? You're going to be just fine. You'll be just fine. Mummy's here. I can't... Can't feel... Can't feel anything. It's going to be just fine. Mummy will get you a doctor, will get you plenty of rest, a nice drink of water. Maybe Faye would like to go and get some help. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go and do that. Um, Faye, like, runs off. As you go to leave, you can feel a pulsing in the ground around you. Reality itself is warping around you. The memories that you had tried to push away begin to fill your mind. Your sister, who was the star of the show, 
was left wheelchair bound, unable to move anything below her shoulders. Regardless, she kept up a constant smile, constant feeling of happiness and optimism. But from that day, you never spoke with any of your family again. Despite knowing deep down that it had nothing to do with you, you still felt this overwhelming guilt whenever you saw any of them. Mm. You feel a quickening in your chest. You could have done something if you'd have known. You could have done something. There is a moment of realization as the world fades to black once again. And you find yourself back at the entrance of the carnival. Step right up! Step right up! Test your strength! But Naka's gonna quickly go check his reflection again. To see if he's still a kid. You're still very much a kid, yeah. Test your strength, kids! Uh, if anyone wants to have a go, uh, we've got some wonderful prizes. Uh, Laoban, you no longer have your balloon. What the fuck? I don't get a really big uh, feeling of deja vu. Yeah. Wait, do you, do you think that, that, that the weird creature may have been lying? Maybe we do have to change Maybe. what happens. I mean, so, my, I tested okay? my bending earlier and it's like a steel fire bend a little bit. Hey, are you, are you okay? That must have been horrible to relive. FaZe kind of just like got like a thousand yard stare. She's kind of like there, but like not paying attention. And it looks like she's like just about to burst into tears. She's not really answering. <laughs> A man is fired from a cannon. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hi, kids. Uh, are you with your parents or any of you? Oh, we have a guardian with us. Oh, you. Oh. Oh, well, it's you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see you here. Um, Emmy invited me. Emmy I... invited you for the for the show, right? For the badger. Rena, show, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you already know the show. Interesting. I thought you, thought she hadn't told you. It was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Um, uh, so does your does your does your mother know you're here? No, she doesn't. Okay. Um. Well, be a nice surprise for her, I'm sure. Uh, I've got leaflets. Uh, if, if you guys uh, want to go and see the show, it will be fantastic. She has got that. Um, badger mold trained in such a way like it can it can pirouette absolutely stunningly Gout. yeah we'll we can go okay good well it's nice nice seeing you nice seeing you too um phase gonna try and stop it from happening okay. POA is also gonna try and stop it um, as you're about to walk out of there, Feng is like, like nearly bumps into you. Oh god, what are you... Faye, what the... What are you hey, doing here? Emmy can't do this show today. She... she can't do it. What are you talking about? Something bad is gonna happen. Get out of my way. What do you mean? She's been working so hard on this. She's going to get hurt by this makes you think what what are you what are you and he's like he like pushes you back no no you're, you you everyone rush him right and taka's now. gonna rush the guy okay 
Yeah, he, he always gonna Give set me. Harry on them. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping everyone joins and just rushes a dude. <laughs> he always kind of um, shouts to Fabian, like, go, go see Emmy. Like, before the show, maybe you can say something. I need to stop her. Or do the show with her. Wait. Get up. What? Jack is gonna bite his ankle. Ow! What? What is wrong Harry, with these children? Bear hug. What did I do? Ow! Uh, Faye, Faye runs in. Okay. Uh, Feng like tries to follow you. Uh, are you are you all keeping him at bay? So yeah, we are clinging him. to him. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna get ask Erwin to um help as well. Erwin, look, you haven't seen oh, your brother oh. in so long. Give him all the oh, affection. Oh. Erwin, what are you doing? Oh God, okay. Uh, yeah, you. Okay, yeah. Love you too, buddy. Love you too. <laughs> Sora, go help Faye. <laughs> she's what? gonna try. She's gonna try and stop this. Uh, we, we need to stop him from getting in. We already know that we can't change this. Well, it's worth yeah, a shot anyway. No harm in trying. Faye, as you run inside, um, Emmy is still setting up and is um, going through the last minute sort of preparations with the badger mouth. Um, Faye's going to run up to her and grab her shoulder. Um, oh, hello. Faye. Emmy. Hey, you made it. You made it. Oh, I'm so excited. I... I've been working so hard on this. Um, so <laughs> I, know, Emmy... I know you think I'm a bit of a dork and that... Uh, then the badger moles are sort of lumbering and you know not the not really good animals to uh, train but this badger mole i've been working so hard with him bernard he's 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 perfect he is um uh he is very agile very dexterous and he's um he he's he's, he's very good at following orders isn't that right and, and she turns around and the badger mole stands in the air and waves his little paws at you see that see that he loves it he's so good at it um, Faye is gonna gently like cup her face and get her to look at her. Oh, yes. And hello. And she's just like, Emmy, you can't do this today. Um, I mean, I've got to do it today. <laughs> We've no. got an audience. We've pretty, pretty much sold out. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of people who are paid to see this. <laughs> I'm scared you're gonna get hurt, Emmy. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I been practicing really hard i know how hard you work i know how much effort you put into this performance but please don't do it today uh what give me a plead roll give me a second to find it <laughs> um she sees your eyes brimming over with tears. I... You, you, really, you really don't want me to do it? I don't want you to get hurt, Emmy. I'm not... No, no, I've, I've, been, I've been practicing. I'm not going to get hurt. It, it, like, Faye's kind of, like, breathing quite heavily. She, like, looks like she's going to cry. And, like, she's shaking as she's holding Emmy's face. Faye, F- F- you, you, you're really wording me out right now. You know, Mum's, she's watching, and she's, she, this, this is my chance, my big chance. I've been practicing for this. And just forget, forget about Mother. Just forget about her. You're way too important to risk yourself. That I don't doubt how talented you are. I don't doubt how hard you are working. But I know something bad is going to happen today. So please don't do it. Can you please get these kids off me? I am like trying so hard. Jack is going to bite his other ankle. Keep things running. Little <laughs> bastard. Sorry. Sorry. Where are my children? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. Uh, you just try to. Kids, can you please? please okay no. Kiyoe uh, runs up to the badger mole because never seen a badger mole look close and just starts Whoa. petting it <laughs> no. like oh my god look at it it's so cute oh a uh, little girl uh, boy uh, person uh, you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't really be um, uh, getting too close he, 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 he stand back he's, he's, he's very he well away. trained but he's 
He's a little, he's a little shy around strangers. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Animals love me. And he always just antagonizes the fuck out of this bad animal. Okay. <laughs> Give me a push your luck roll then, please. Okay. UA died instead now. No, no, that's, oh, no. I mean, that's a failure, but you pissed it off. Um, Yay! <laughs> Badgermole looks at you angrily. <gasps> Faye's gonna grab and, Hiwe and pull him out. <laughs> uh, at that moment, yeah, Emmy's gonna step forward. Okay, Bonner, Bernard, calm down, calm down. Hiwe <gasps> shouts to Fabian, uh, like, save Emmy. Calm down, calm down, calm down. And with a boom, a large claw smashes down on Emmy's face as Emmy is dashed across the arena. Damn it, Faye, that was meant to be me. You're meant to save Emmy. You ain't that one's on you. Hey, um, I was trying to save her. <laughs> Emmy is very still. I'm already dead, like... Uh, Faye's gonna run over towards her and be like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck. He away literally just thinks that they're dead now and like they're willing to do anything <laughs> to try and save other people because they don't think they're alive. Emmy? Emmy! He's just going to try and drag the with these children <laughs> attached to him, walk on over. Emmy? Emmy! Emmy is completely unresponsive. Faye's just going to cry. <laughs> Taka also starts crying. <laughs> he always still hugging the uh, badge mob. You hear a distant <laughs> as the ground begins to shake. And this time you feel reality warp around you. You look down at your sister. She is completely unresponsive. Her body has no movement. Her chest is still. Her body is lifeless. It's even worse. This is even worse. <laughs> hey, at least I figured out we can actually change shit here. <laughs> totally oblivious to like people dying distant... as the entirety of the circus tent begins to warp and those of those of you that are attached uh to uh to the brother it, uh, feel his body begin to vibrate and his voice becomes a distant silent you feel the world fade to black your bodies slowly wash up on the ground as you slowly come to consciousness from the trees you hear a rustling smelly humans tried to play with time Smelly humans couldn't. understand. Yes, and look what happened. Everything fell apart. Ruin came, and your sister died. I killed my sister. No, that was me. Well, I'll I take full blame. For it that. was fully you know, Huey's fault. In a way, yep. yes. In one way, yes. In another way, no. Yes. Did, did your, your sister, sister actually did? die? Just die in front of you. Yes, she was very dead. 
But that is just one path that you've created that I'm now going to have to deal with. Let's not worry about that. That's not a problem. I'll just go, I'll go, I'll go trim that away. That'll be all good. However, yeah, but you said we couldn't change things when we, we go out. We really shouldn't. Things, but Tutirun can. No, no, but we just changed your memory. No, the plants will still go as they did. As we I said, that was just a flush. Oh, we created a new one. Yep, that was yes. just pocket lint. You don't get it. What you created was pocket lint. It was a possibility. A branch on the tree, right? Yes! Trees! Trees! Like elastic bands! They branch off and go wildly outwards. But what we do is we take the branches and we wrap them around themselves to create the elastic band ball that I mentioned before. I'm really yeah. not following this again. You, that's, what, that's what we do. Fee yes. kind of understands. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so you have totally all lost. of these branches and you've created some more, and which which silly humans can do because you have this, what you call it, um, um, free will. Free will, yes. Except you think you have free will, when actually your actions are governed by things that have already happened around you. You're influenced by the world. You're inf influenced by your memories. You're influenced by other people. And in doing so, those things decide what you will do. So even though you feel like you have free will, what you do is still predetermined, unless you have prior knowledge. But humans, humans only see from A to B, so you have no prior knowledge. Yes? Yes. But you had prior knowledge. You saw, and then you tried to replace. And what happened? I made it worse. You made it worse? Your sister died. Very bad. Yeah. Again, that's that was on me. Want, right? that, that wasn't you, Faye. And that thing, if you meddle, then things get worse. But that also means she could make things better, better right? Well, it depends what your class is. Better better for some, worse for others. I mean, the, the people that would have had to have looked after your sister, maybe they'd feel better that they don't have to look after her because she's dead. <sighs> Sounds incredibly harsh, I know, but that's just how I see things. No certain king would see things as well. <laughs> I'm not a king. I'm more like a god. To you, I'd imagine that's how you'd see it anyway. Omnipresent, omnipotent, that sort of thing. Faye's just gonna go and collapse into Erwin. Oh. Oh. But what you had was a memory that was locked away. That thought, that feeling, that was not there, but now you've woken up to it. Why did you push it away? Because it was my fault, right? Was it? No one wants to remember that kind of thing. I mean, it definitely didn't seem like your fault from our perspective, Faye. It, it was doesn't purely matter. an accident. It doesn't matter if it was an accident. It doesn't matter if it wasn't me. <laughs> and there Do you think I... your sister blames you? I think or she do just you think your really sister was just turned up? Perhaps. Do you think she'd have rather been dead? Of course not. So if you'd have changed things, would they have been better for her? I guess not. Anyway, as I said, nothing gets changed. It's all as it should be. You're just seeing a glimpse of what might be the pocket lint. Of what the could have been. The pocket lint is just fragment, but you throw it away. So, take that memory, and if you like, throw it away! Mm. Anyway, would anybody like something to eat? Oh, I'm starving. <laughs> I imagine you are. I wasn't offering food, I was just curious. Wait, if I stop thinking about being hungry, would I stop being hungry? Uh, it depends, because in one reality, you may already have food in your pocket right now. Oh my god, I've got biscuits in my pocket. <laughs> so you uh, reach into your pocket. You do find the biscuits from before. <laughs> well, she Anyone else want one? my pocket and pull out Yun. That would be funny. Oh, well, let me check my other pocket. Is Yun in there? 
Why would Jumbi in your pocket, Tucker? Uh, give me a Come push on. your luck roll. Interesting. <laughs> What's as in my reach, little pockets? As you reach into your pocket, you feel a hand grab around your hand. Oh my god, Yun. That's impossible, Taka. Like, what just, are you on about? If you I recognize that hand. Again, just pull it, pull, uh, pull it. <laughs> Very, mean... you say impossible, I say unlikely. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this that hand out really of my pocket. My okay, give me another push your luck roll, please. <laughs> Although, if we are dead, then sure, whatever. I guess anything's possible. Okay. <laughs> out of your pocket, Fuck's you feel. Uh, as you pull, and your the fabric splits and rips as with a. Yun. <laughs> Lands on the ground, panting. <gasps> oh shit! It worked. What? I I what? didn't. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Uh, hey, Ian, do you want a biscuit? And that's where we'll leave today's session. <laughs> Fucking hell! Um, you know. <laughs> wow. Wow. The I one time you roll well, Obi. <laughs> I said that as a yeah, joke. No, break the space time continuum, time. right? Oh. You guys. And just logic in thinking, general. You guys need to start thinking so three dimensionally while you're here. This is. This is. You're in fourth dimensional space. This is. This now. is where Taka is at his most powerful when everything is absurd. Taka, it's like you got to brain with this shit. Hearway one hundred percent thinks he's dead and just hallucinating all this shit now. I mean, you so his be. Is, they're just going to be reckless be. as Who fuck. Knows? If you hadn't ended the session there, Faye was literally going to tackle hug you, and she 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 thought he was fucking dead, <laughs> <laughs> and it was her fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, going around at the moment. Yeah. He anyway, has no regard for his life. He's literally gonna do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah. Next next session, Yun is getting a hug from Faye. Oh man. Quite far away from you both in every dimensional sense. <laughs> uh, three young men uh, sat around awkwardly on the sofa. So, I heard you don't get on with your dad? How Shang says to Blake. God, yeah, my dad is a real piece You're of work, honestly. Earth. He's made my life an absolute living hell um it's there's just a lot to go through you know yeah i You're basically understand. formed the akatsuki yeah I, I understand um i'm kind of the same actually um you see um my dad uh buried my mother alive um to uh, try and instill power within me to make me more powerful um, so that I could be a more strong earthbender uh, and doing so he uh, then started to bury me alive continuously just um, burying me under layer after layer of dirt so that I couldn't breathe or move um, until I was strong enough to claw my way out um, and finally uh, be as strong as as he he needed me to be yeah yeah what what did your father do to you yeah kind of the same actually yeah um very you know like there was this tea room and well, i won't go into it because i don't want to make silla sad he gets really emotional when i tell us no i don't care you can really if you want to go over it i'm always happy to go through your trauma with you yeah, yeah, you know what? It's just kind of a kind of rough time to be going over this. I get very panicky when I talk about this. 
Yeah, I can understand. But if you need someone to talk about, you know, someone that kind of gets where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're basically the same. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm going to go just have a over here. And he runs off into the corridor and goes to hide in his room. So, um, how Sheng, you're um an earthbender? That's very interesting. Yes. So, uh, do you have any hobbies? I like using the ground to pull my victims down, burying them beneath clod up clod of earth, crushing the very life from their bodies. Yes, good to have a hobby, definitely. Um uh I meant more, you know, sort of pastimes. Oh. Well, I enjoy looking at clouds. Yes, that sounds nice. Uh, good cloud watching. I've uh, done that a little bit myself on occasion. I like to see the shape of clouds. Sometimes among them, I can see the shape and faces of my victims. Yes, um, <laughs> lots of imaginative things you can see within the clouds. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to, um, just, I'm, I'm getting a little tired, so I think I'm just going to get a little nap in, if that's okay. Do you not enjoy talking to me? No, no, not at all. It's just, you know, I'm getting out of such a sleepy head. Okay. Well, I'm glad we could have this talk. I don't have many friends. Oh, I, uh... Well, <laughs> and Scylla runs off. That kid freaks me the fuck out. Yes, he is, um, a very, um, hmm, 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 Do you want to, do you want to get in bed with me? I, I, yes. And Blake budges over, and they both get in. And sit lie shoulder to shoulder. It's really, really fucked up. This whole thing. Yes, just a little bit. Yes, I'm very well aware. <laughs> um, do you think we could like leave and like go home? <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile. By the prison cells, Zaya is pacing backwards and forwards, staring at Haraki, who is sat cross-legged, calmly smiling at her. If Lord Kibo asks you a question, it would do you good to answer it, wouldn't it? Why, dearie, you are quite a mess, aren't you? What? No, I... I'm just trying to do right by, by Lord Kibo. I'm sure you are, dearie. I'm sure you are. You really should do something about those split ends, though. They're all over the place. They're all... I... Listen. Lord Kibo has been very pleasant with you. Has he now? I haven't had the time to talk with him. Stands up and takes a step towards Zaya. Now, maybe you can ask your questions, and maybe I'll answer them. But really, I'd rather just sit down and have a nice cup of tea if it's all the same to you. Oh, yes. We can brew you a lovely cup of tea. But maybe you won't be able to drink the tea. Because after I am done with you, Zaya, Kibo takes, a, Kibo takes a step forward. Please step away from our guest. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to... Yes. He takes a step back. Kibo walks over. It's been a while, Haruki. Yes. Longer for me, I think. Yes. It seems that way, doesn't it? So how have you been, little sister? Well, 
Well, you know, living a much better lifestyle than you, I imagine. Not filled with blinding vengeance and yearning for a past that never be. If you're trying to antagonize me, it's not going to work out. You know those things don't work on me. Really? And you've done so much already. You fear me, don't you? Why is that? It's not that I fear you. It's that I pity you. You pity me. I know what you used to be. Who you were supposed to be. And now look at you. You've fallen so far. And what do you plan to do? Burn it all down again? Continuously, just burning it all away? You don't understand. There's no time. There's never any time. It's meaningless to us anyway. Or at least it is to you. There is a lot that I regret. And there is much that I am trying to fix. And you're going to fix by continuing to burn it all, is that it? I will do whatever it is. And I would ask that you assist me, as you did before. I was young and naive back then. I know better now. I'm sure you do. Now you've been here longer than I have. But I'd like you to tell me, do you know where it is? Haraki narrows her eyes. Even if I did know, do you think that I would ever tell you? Kibo's mouth arcs for a moment. I think you can be persuaded at the right price. Deary, I have all the wealth anyone could want. I was not talking about material. But I know how much you value life. Well, at my age, there's not that much value in what I have. I didn't say anything about your life. takes a step back let us give her some time to digest I'm sure she has much to think over the two of them walk on out of the room Haraki sits down on the floor and runs a hand through her aged face And that's where we'll leave today's session. Nice. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> I love that the spirit world works on cartoon logic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Looney Tunes this shit. <laughs> I've said that so off-handedly and I never